Hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video I want to talk about TN versus IPS displays on DS consoles. Now depending on what DS model you've got will depend on which display type that you've got in your DS and the choice you've got are between TN which is twisted pneumatic and IPS which is in plane switching. Don't ask me what either of those mean but I do know that there is a difference between the two and when Nintendo introduced the DSi XL, it came with dual IPS displays and everyone was raving about them. That means the top screen and the bottom screen were IPS, uh, whereas previous models, both screens were TN screens. IPS is supposed to display brighter, it's supposed to have better viewing angles and the blacks are supposed to be deeper. When Nintendo introduced the 3DS range, it mixed things up a little bit. Some got TN displays, some got IPS displays, some got a mix of both. When I got my new 3DS XL, I was convinced that it had dual IPS displays. It absolutely looks fantastic, it's very crisp, it's very viewable in bright sunlight, but it's not. It has dual TN displays. And it really threw me because I expected, uh, just like my new 2DS XL I had, they were twin TN displays, Fantastic quality look and display, but I knew it was TN. Whereas my new 3DS XL, I was convinced that it was dual IPS because the screen just looked so superb. So it means then that technology has moved on, TN displays are no longer as rubbish as they used to be, and getting an IPS is no longer that important. Now I'm sure this video is going to cause some backlash, I uh, have a few comments about, oh no, you need IPS displays, uh, TN aren't as great, and I'm going to stick to my guns. I don't think it's that important these days. I look at my DSi XL with its superb, fantastic, bright, crisp screens, and yeah, they're great. But I don't actually think they look much different to later consoles or consoles that I had before that. The DSi and the DS Lite were crisp and great viewing angle. I will go that the original DS wasn't very bright and you couldn't really see it great. But moving forward, so the 3DS and the 2DS, all the screens on those are superb. And whether you've got IPS or TN, it really doesn't make a lot of difference. I know there are a lot of people that will try and hunt down 3DS consoles with twin IPS displays just so they can say they've got them. And it really, it's hit and miss whether you order one, you order two from the same place. One could come with IPS displays and one could come with TN displays or mix of both or you could end up with both with TN and both with IPS. Now, it does bother some people, but I think for the majority, you really can't see that much of a difference these days. So whether your DS console has got TN displays or IPS displays, I don't think it makes a lot of difference these days. For me personally, I can't see the difference and it doesn't affect my gameplay at all. So let me know what you think. Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.